Get out of my way, baby. She is not going away. I'll give you the tip. And now she's stealing my coins. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to have words at some point. I'm going to choke her out with my big fluffy ears. <laughs> G'day everyone and welcome to Super T Console Gaming. It is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with Animal Crossing vs Mario Kart with Isabel taking on the Boomerang Cup. Let's head to Bangkok and get that cranking. Welcome. I hope you're all doing really well. Get in the comments. Say g'day. And let's um, smash out four races where hopefully Isabel will end up victorious. Um, obviously the goal is to go four from four. Um, we achieve it more often than not, but every now and then, Mario Kart, Mario Karts, and it becomes a little bit of a struggle. But anyway, we'll do our best. Um, to be honest, Bangkok Rush is a track that I'm still not really got my head around. It's good fun, it looks good, but um, I struggle with it sometimes. So let's see how we go. Can we get off to a good start in the Boomerang Cup? as Villager does her best to push me out of the way. Who's up in front? Oh, not me as I run into a wall. It's terrible driving. All right, we've taken out someone with the banana. We've then managed to get the double box. What is Villager gonna do with that banana? She's gone upstairs and we've gone downstairs, which has meant we've stayed away from the banana fortuitously. Hey, that red shell missed us completely, so we didn't have to waste a banana on it. Oh, and I tell you what, we were that close to the horn box then that it took our banana out, but we continued to continue on. Well done to you, Isabel. Oh, carnage with the bananas. Anyway, can we at some stage get in front of this pest, Waluigi? Oh, he was too far in front. I really shouldn't throw that. Oh, what happened there? <laughs> All right, we're finally, finally in front of Waluigi for the first time in this race. And it's as we commence lap three, which means I'll probably cop a blue shell here in a minute. You can't help your luck in a big city. Anyway, again, as I always say, my favorite part of the track here, as we do some 360s to get around. Oh, here comes the blue shell. Wonderful. Thank you very much for having us. Oh, it's gone very pear-shaped there. I don't think I've ever come a cropper through there like that. Oh no, the rot has started. And we are too deep into the third lap to try and get a handle on this one. Oh, I didn't get either of them. Well, there you have it. We're starting off with the second. Isabel's dreams of a first, first, first finish are already gone. Gone the way of the dodo. Let's, let's forget about Bangkok and get off to race number two where hopefully we can get a better result. She's furry and she's got a sensible waistcoat on, but it doesn't always go her way. Um, and that's certainly the case there where they really, that blue shell, red shell combo late in the third lap just didn't allow us the time to get back. Anyway, this is a cracking track. We should have some fun on this one. Let's go. Not a bad start by Isabel, but baby Peach tried to steal the lead off me. We had to give her a bit of a tap on the dummy and just go, uh-uh. Oh, get off the sand. Not gonna help anyone. Hey. All right, we need to get some coins through here. Oh, and I pick up one. One out of a potential three. Few more there, which is good. I'll be honest, Daisy, you're going to have some banana here in a minute. It's just a matter of time. Well, 
I'll tell you what, Isabel has sort of come through in the last little lap. Got herself into a nice little lead here. Can we just, oh, keep missing those coins. It's embarrassing. Instead of taking the tight line, I'm heading out wide to try and pick up the full 10. And it wasn't working for me, but now that we've got the 10, we'll try and drive a little bit tighter. All right, there we have it. Lap two is done. Goombas on the track, but we'll get around those bad boys because they're slow and they're cumbersome. And sometimes we can drive. <laughs> Not all the time, though. Let's be very, very clear. The game realised I had a good combination of items then and it just said, uh-uh, we're not going to let you do that. We want you to struggle to the finish line. There's Wiggles. Better actually hang that out in the back. Stop being silly and just start driving defensively as we look to close out this race with a first. I think we're going to get there. We do have a big corner left ahead of us. Nah, we're good. No one's getting us from here. Isabel's made a comeback. Well done to her. That's a bit better. Wendy, Waluigi, Baby Peach and Villager. They seem to be the nemesis or the nemesi <laughs> as we head off to race number three. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you're having a good time. Um, look check out the channel there's a fair bit going on there's lots of kirby there's lots of mario kart there's lots of warp kart races we're currently playing through one piece pirate warriors four we've got a stack of pokemon shorts it's all there so check it out i hope you have a good time and now let's get stuck in a waluigi stadium on the wet mud that looks like glass again wendy's getting out in front she can be quite the pest when she wants to be. Oh, well, I did my best to get away from that red shell, and I tell you what, it haunted me every step. It got me in a mid-air throw. We're in third, but I tell you what, there is some dead set red shell action going on. Up behind me as Waluigi is probably going to land himself on one of these rotating bananas. I was about to ask the question, where's Wendy? But she was floating above us. Oh, now they're throwing flames at me. And I missed the jump. You can have one of... Oh, she didn't take the bait. Is that a blue shell already? My lord. Jeez, they got that out early. Wow, well, Luigi, you're gonna cop a red shell, son. You just look like the kind of bloke that deserved it. And old Isabel was happy to oblige. All right, through the rotating flames. We can do this all day, she says. Jeez, Wendy is still peppering me for that first place. She will not go away. I'm going to try and hit her with a bomb here. We hit someone. I think it was Wendy, in fact. It's great when you get the results you come for. Oh, the blue shell. Yeah, yeah, all right. Couple of front flips and back flips through that section. Let's get some coins, because I tell you what, we are not aiding ourselves in the speed department in this race. Isabel's got it all to play for. Oh, we oh. I was just going to say, we were going to take that straight up the woozy then, and bang, the lightning came out and corrected what we thought was going to be a stroll, a jaunt, to saunter. It said, nah. -uh. You shan't be having any sort of luck. Anyway, let's throw it out the back. 
Despite the carnage and the lack of coins, Isabel gets her second win. Unfortunately, it's the second win out of three races because we blew the first one. But the comeback is continuing. Flowers falling out of her head as normal. She's a bit loosey-goosey. Flower power and all that. Let's go. Race number four to close out the Boomerang Cup. It's gone okay so far. What has Isabel got in mind to put on a show for us in this final race? Obviously off to Singapore, one of the greatest cities slash countries in the world, full of legendary people. There's the Merline, having a bit of a spit take. And with that, let's get this underway. Come on, Isabel, perfect starts. Can we shake Wendy? Probably not. Oh no, we've, no. I was just about to say we've done it and then Baby Peach gets aggressive on the follow through. That was hurtful. What is she doing? Get out of my way, baby. She is not going away. I'll give you the tip. And now she's stealing my coins. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to have words at some point. I'm going to choke her out with my big fluffy ears. <laughs> I better put a shell on her. I can't have her get too far in front. Daisy. It was like there was a banana in there somewhere. We managed to thread that needle successfully. Oh, if I if I stop running into the um, into the curb, we'll go okay. Anyway, let's cop a fountain on the way through. Bang onto a wall. Okay, lap number three is underway. Can we put on a bit of a class through here? Let's find out. So far, so good. Pesky red shells. I suppose, oh, lightning. I was about to say, it's probably time for some pesky blue shells as well. Make our way through the blue woozies. We'll dump the banana out the back because they're gonna get violent in this last 100 metres or so. I say last 100 metres, it turns out to be the last half a lap. <laughs> yeah. Just the precision that you're here for. You know, just the brilliant commentary and the well above the below point of average in the gameplay department. There's Isabel getting her third win out of four races. So she'll take the gold cup. It wasn't a masterclass, but it was still some good fun in the Boomerang Cup. And now we'll go and check out the highlights package brought to you by Mario Kart TV. What will they throw up? Hopefully some highlights instead of some lowlights. I'd like to see Isabel do some great stuff instead of just getting beat up by the other characters. But we'll see how it goes, I'm sure. They'll put a show on for us. All right. That was me fighting it out with the baby. A little bit of a flip, a little bit of a hop, skip and a jump. But other than that, not a lot is going on in this one. Imagine starting it out with a second place. That's a trifle embarrassing. Well. There you have it, everybody. The Boomerang Cup. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. You're a bunch of legends. Get in the comments. Tell me what you thought. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Most importantly, thanks, thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate that a ton. It is awesome when you do that. And we'll see you all next time. Oh, Roo. See you later. Goodbye. Have fun. See you, legends.